All right, there's a lot going on here. Um, it's almost time to bind the guitar. So I was looking at the bindings that I've got and trying to decide on the pattern that I was going to use. And I am going to bind both the top and the bottom or back of the guitar with this ebony uh, binding here. And this has actually got two white stripes on it. I don't know if you can see that down towards the bottom. And, uh, for example, on the, on the top of the guitar, I'll actually have the white part up. There's going to be some herringbone purfling that's going to run along there. Um, but I didn't just like the black against the, the side of the guitar. So I wanted to put a white stripe on there, so I, I got some thinner black-white purfling here. And what I've been doing is laminating it using... Uh, medium super glue and then a little shot of accelerator at the end. I've done two already. Here's one that I, I just did. So you got your two white stripes here and then the one white and black on this side. So basically what I did, I just put down some wax paper on my bench here and then I'll just spread I'll just spread a thin bead um, right down the top here. What's nice about this medium is it gives you a little bit of working time until you hit it with the accelerator. I'm just going to take it right down. I'll set this on the wax paper here and just bring this part right up to it here. Just hold it up front for a sec here and the glue, glue to take and then I just put my fingers right on down. Just kind of squeeze it. down the end. I'll just hold it for a second here at the end. And then just miss some accelerator. Okay, that's one we just did. Let's see. I got one more. I actually got four pieces. Because I need two for the uh, the top and two for the back. Alright, this is why I think it's going to be a little bit of time before this next video gets up. Um, as I said, we're going to be binding this guitar and uh, I was looking at the design of my binding. I've got some herringbone purfling here that I'm going to use on the top. And that ebony <clears throat> that I just laminated, I'm going to put the, the white side up so that it, like the, the binding, I'll come up with the white side up and then I'll just hit that the uh, herringbone purfling will be right against it. And then I've got the, uh, we've got that uh, uh, white stripe, so this will kind of be here, the white stripe on the bottom. And then on the, the back, I'm using the same thing, I'll have another ebony with the, with the white facing down like this. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of be like that. And um, I think I'm just going to put this strip on the 
on the bottom of the guitar. I don't think, I haven't decided I, uh, whether I'm going to put any more purfling on, like any more black, white, black lines, or maybe. i got to look at it a little bit more. Um, and the other thing that took me a while was this guy here. This is a, uh, a binding machine that I've got here and it just makes it uh, cut a lot more accurate channels when you use a binding machine. So I've got like a little laminate trimmer router on a, like a plywood base and it just took me a while to to get this all set up and get you know get the I had to take this down to my local uh, there's a little tool and die shop right now and get like the aluminum uh, to match up with the rigid um, where the where the holes were on this mounting it wasn't quite matching up with the rigid and if I put this laminate trimmer on actually this, these adjustments would all have been facing towards the back so it would have been a pain to try and adjust um, so what I had this guy do at the tool and dry, I just had him bring the threads all the way through. Uh, he just tapped these for me so I could put the screws, the, two, the Allen head screws that hold this uh, to, the, to the base on either. I can put it either way. So now I've got the controls facing forward. It'll be a lot more easy to adjust and, and to regulate the controls. So that's it for now got to make my final decision on the on the binding and the purfling panel uh, pattern before uh, we go any further because after that I've got to cut the channels. What I'm going to do next is scrape scrape these laminated uh, bindings here <coughs> with my scraper because the, uh, the, la the one part I laminated was a little thicker than the ebony strip. So I'll just take that down so it's uniform because eventually what I'm going to have to do is put this back into the um, the bending machine. I'll, uh, I'll actually bend them and get them the shape of the uh, the guitar before we um, try gluing them in. There's there's no way, <laughs> you know, these are pretty thick. There's no way we can bend these without breaking them, uh, trying to get them around the uh, sides of that guitar. So let me, I'll just get them all uniform with the scraper here. All right, I've got these bindings all scraped down um, so that they're they're even across the, uh, the the whole binding. And now I'm going to uh, I'm just taping them together because I'm going to put them into the bending machine to bend them. And I've got opposite sides so that you know we'll have uh, we'll have two pieces that fit on the top and one on the bottom of the guitar. So basically I'm just putting a piece of tape at the, the front and the end and one in the middle just to hold them together here. I'm starting to make the sandwich uh, for the uh, binding machine or the bending machine. Uh, got the one stainless steel slat down, a uh, piece of craft paper that I wetted. I'll just spray it one more time here. And then I'll just fold this over the, the bindings here. Okay, I got them in the middle of the uh, the middle of the uh, slat. Squirt water. Right, so we'll put the other slat on here. This end down here will be the front. I'll measure that 12 inches <clears throat> from the uh, from the middle, from the waist. Blanket on. Throw this up in the machine. 
machine here. Let me rearrange the camera here. going up quick it's 270 so we'll be bedding here in a sec okay, it's almost there down the waist. Okay. All right, this, these are just binding. I'm just going to turn it down and, and just let it cool down. My bent bindings look pretty good. Well, with the bindings bent, <clears throat> similar to what we did with the sides when we first bent them, I'm just going to store them in the uh, one half of the mold here, just to, so they keep their shape. So I just I just clamped them up in the mold, and uh, until we're ready for them. All right, before I bind the guitar, I want to make sure that this part, the neck area, is true, that it's flat. So I'm going to mark it with some chalk and take a sanding block and just make sure that we've got a flat area here. Okay, I was starting to route for the uh, for the back bindings, and uh, Houston, we have a problem. What what happened is I was routing, um, the router kind of caught, and I must have not had the bit in tight enough. Here, you can see I was routing up here, 
and then it caught but I kept going and what happened is the bit dropped so now I'm making a lot deeper channel than my binding see it ain't gonna fit at all so what I'm I thought about this for a little bit I'm just gonna make a little thicker uh, uh, binding for the back here I'll use a couple extra stripes here <laughs> This is actually as thick as the the cutter itself. I've actually got a little bit. I'm gonna have to take the top off here. I'll have to make another pass or something to get this off up here. Um, but that's what happened. So that's uh, there's a learning experience. I have to um, tighten that uh, that bit up. Also, you can see I was going too slow here. I was burning. It's like I was getting some burn marks here. So um, it's a little bit of a learning experience here. But um, we'll see if we can fix it. Okay, I, uh, I think uh, one thing that I learned too is I should have used the two wrenches to tighten up the bit. Uh, what I ended up doing was just using the thumb. Uh, the thumb indent on here and I don't think you can get it as tight just by using that in the single wrench as if you take it off and use the two wrenches so lesson learned I'll do that from now on um, I just set up the router that let's see here uh, I, I brought the bit up a little bit so I'm going to take off the edge that I couldn't get and then we'll make a complete we'll make a complete pass all the way around the guitar and then we'll set it to go a little bit and match the depth of that last channel so keep your fingers crossed Okay, that got a little bit a uh, little bit easier as I was using it. Okay, I went around uh, with a shallower channel. Actually, would have been perfect for the binding before. Um, so I went to the problem area, and I'm going to set the cutter. Unplug it. Um, I'll set the cutter for the depth of the where it where it got away from me and got loose. Okay, it's a bigger channel than I wanted initially, but um, it looks pretty even. I'm just going to look at this a little closer. Alright, let me show you close up uh, of what we got. So uh, this channel is now wider than originally. This is originally this is the binding that I wanted to, to put in with this with the white side up. And as you know, we cut a little bit deeper, or not deeper, but a, a bigger channel. And it's actually, it's not, not a whole heck of a lot. Um, I'm going to look and see what perfect, look at this, this is actually a perfect size right here. I'll see, you know, I've, I've got different, different bindings, and just like I laminated this with to put the stripe on, 
It's just going to be a little fancy. Maybe we're going to have a couple stripes on here. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> um, let me go check my bindings and see what, uh, what I'm going to do here. All right, this is how I'm going to fix this. Uh, here's my original binding down here. And I found uh, a, another a smaller piece of binding, this guy here, which is the, the sides all black, ebony, kind of matches the ebony. And what that does is it gives me, um, we'll have the two stripes. And then up on top, it's, I think it's black, white, black, white. Let's see, I don't know if can you see. There we go. And that's what it'll look on, like on the back. So, so overall the binding's thicker than I wanted, but stuff happens. And we'll route the top. I'll keep the original design for the top. That's scary here. Basically, it'll look like that. I think it's going to look just, just fine. I'm not going to route the top tonight. Had enough excitement. I'll do that when I'm fresh. <laughs> 